Well, I decided to participate in the Amelia Earhart Summit because it's a great opportunity for women engineers to socialize and get together and hear from leaders in the fields, whether they be men or women, and to realize that uh, there's maybe more of them in engineering than they, they think there are. So it's a great opportunity to have a student-led project and a symposium that brings in some leaders in the industry. When I was growing up, uh, the word can't was outlawed in our house. <laughs> I, that, was not a, that was not a word I could use. I think for me, I was so determined to, to do this, and I was so interested in it. I didn't really let the lack of role models or lack of at least people who looked, at, looked like me in terms of gender mm -hmm. discourage me. One thing that has really helped me in my career and, and when I was here at Purdue was to, to focus on similarities rather than differences. I mean, gender is just one thing, right? Um, and sure, it differentiates you from others in some ways, but when you really start thinking about what are we all interested in, what are we here for, what are we here to study, right. we all have that in common. And so no matter what your gender is or, or any other distinguishing characteristic, it doesn't really matter all that much. I would actually characterize mentoring and teaching as important throughout my career. Uh, I was part of the Women in Engineering Mentoring Program even when I was a student, a graduate student here at Purdue. So mentoring has both uh, being mentored and being a mentor has been important throughout my career. And so I think having the opportunity to pay it forward and to have somebody learn from my experiences is, is a great way to do that. And, and when I mentor people, I learn too. And so it's a learning experience for me as well when I have the opportunity to interact with other people.